Right, I'm a bit higher up the hill fort now at Rowborough and Dalbury. And basically, here's the ramparts going down the hill fort where I am here. Right over there, the cone sticking up is Bam Bamwell Hill Fort. Cone shaped. And it does look more majestic, more strong, more of a stronghold from here than you'd think when you were over there. Um, from here, its prominence is a cone. You've got green down in the background there. And um, it does stick up more. It does look like it could defend itself. And we're looking here for like they would have looked over at it, the Iron Age people, at that Iron Age fort over there with another tribe on it. They wouldn't have had binoculars, would they? No, I'm glad I found it because I'm going up right up on the top of the fort in a minute here to see possibly if you can see the top. But I don't think I don't think you can. Um, not from here. You might have to go to say Cadbury Hill Fort. I I took some pictures of it from Whirlbury Hill Hill Fort two days ago, and that wasn't very clear either. It was dark again. So I'm just doing a bit of video. There's steps go down over there, but there's actually somebody sat there, but I just think I'll still go down there. Though it is quite steep. <sighs> I'm not sure if they had clothes on. I'm not sure, actually. They might think they're hidden from view there, but you're not. Because they've got people like me go out looking for the archaeology. Right, so once again, I'm climbing higher up Dolbury Warren Hill Fort, the Iron Age Hill Fort, and keeping an eye on Barnwell there. Of course, Breen Dam was a hill fort as well. It was also a type of hill fort, Breen Dam. So, yes, it has got a prominence. It definitely has. Right, let's climb up a bit higher. I think it'll go out of view in a minute. When I came up here last, um, probably January, I think it was actually. I've got a feeling it was. It might not have been. I might have been up here since actually. <sighs> On the bus. Yeah, I might have been. I can remember that it was. Um, I had it all to myself. There was nobody here. <sighs> yeah, I got a feeling it wasn't. Uh, <sighs> it was when I came out. Yeah. Once again, we're looking again. Looking over that plain, there's Crooks Peak over there. Then you've got Loxton and Christon, and then you've got Bamwell Hill Fort. And it's right there with the others. Right there, everyone. I videoed it now. Take a picture, I'm just going to turn off a minute. I'll take some more when I get up there. A load of clouds just going by on top of the hill fort here. They just came out of the wood. And they're all following each other like a herd of cows. Off they go, look. Black ones as well. They, they look alright, they made a bit of a strange noise in the beginning. Stops. Yeah, as long as it get curious about me, I'm just taking a picture of these lovely black cows. There's a heifer. I don't know if there's any bulls. They all look like cows to me. I don't know if the first one was a bull. A little bit of video. Um, I'm going to go try and go down the steps down there and pick up that path. 
camera's starting to get hot and misty um, now. So it seems to go in and out of focus when it does this. I've put a new battery in. I'm just trying to get it focused because it's a waste of time if it's out of focus when you're... Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be walking along a terrace step. There are, there are footpaths up that just up a bit with stiles and things. Um, but this path is available. But it's like a terrace here, you know, where probably deer and animals creep across and people very carefully creep across. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would try that one. I'm going to do the top one here. There was somebody sunbathing earlier. Um, they've gone now. This is the bit I wanted, otherwise I'd be the other side of a barbed wire fence. Although there is supposed to be a stile a bit further up, but you can't lose your footing here. It's all been videoed before, don't forget. But it might come out misty. Because the camera's getting hot. My hands are clammy. I saw a dog a minute ago. Now going down in a minute is going to be... I have to be very careful. There are steps that lead down through this wood. There's only a small section that's quite steep. So I've, just got, I've climbed up them. I haven't gone down them before. So that's the plan today. <sighs> to go down them. I'm, gonna, I'm only doing a little bit of video here and I'm going to stop and take some photos. So it's really beautiful, isn't it? I'll be going up that comb in a minute where the stream is. I'm, I was going to do all that but decided there's not enough time today. In a minute I might get some more views of uh, Banwell Hill Fort from when I get over there. I can see the church. It's down there, look. On it. There it is. That's Robert of uh, Church. So, what I'll do, I'll keep, I'll just video until we get up a bit further and then I'll turn it off and take some photos from the other side. I've put another battery in. Um, because I'm doing a lot of zooming and that uses a lot of power. Yeah, there was. They put, looks like they've reinforced this fence. Um, there are various potholes around here fenced off as well. Um, look. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that drop, though. That's a big roly-poly. A flying roly-poly, that would be. I definitely seen people here a minute ago. Well, we're well, not a minute ago. A bit, about an hour ago now. It must be. Yes, a lovely day. I'm getting the last bus back, so I hope they pick me up. I really do. I don't know what's going to happen if they don't. I don't know. I'm scared, actually. Because it's only, it gets dark about seven or past now. To walk along the strawberry line would take me forever. And got no money. I can't get a taxi or anything, got no money. Not until somewhere. There's a stile there. I can't remember how I, how you get out on that. So there we are, look at that. I've just walked around the edge of this sort of basin area. I'm turning off a minute and doing um right then. Guess what I found? I'll just cut I'll zoom out a minute. There's the basin I was talking about, of the terrace basin here, which I'm on. And there's a really brilliant view of Banwell Hill Fort, but not the top. We're not gonna get the top. And zooming in now. 
See that lump there, that cone, that's Banwell Hill Fort. Um, bring down behind it. There it is. So I've got quite a bit of footage of it now. And it is looking more like a hill fort. Definitely. Right. Basically what I'm doing now, I'm finding the secret steps going downwards. Now I might have to turn round and go backwards down. Um, because I always find that safer if you're on a ladder to do that. So I don't know about going frontwards down. Like I said, I've not done it in reverse, so... Well, I might have done. I just can't remember. It'll be on a video somewhere. It's possibly possible I have. But there's some people who probably think this is their quiet little nook, look, and they can take their clothes off and sunbathe. <sighs> And why not, if you want to? And there it is, right over there. Just one more zoom in, because it'll be going out of our sight soon. There it is. It's of significance in the landscape, Banwell. Hillfort is of significance in the landscape. I've got to tell you what, it's absolutely baking. I've drunk one bottle of water. I've got two bottles. There's, there's, there's enough to get back up. When I, if I get to Winscombe, there's a garage anyway. If I don't go all the way, there's a, there's a garage. Now you can see a lot of people sit here. See the flattened grass? A lot of people sit here. You can tell because it's so flat. And there we have the the scalloped, landscaped, terraced basin which would have been great for growing grapes apparently according to the Romans another really lovely view of the hill fort in the distance I can't stop zooming in because it's so gorgeous I'm worried that my camera's not going to do it justice today because it's steaming up that's brilliant I'm so pleased today I got this so pleased Right, let's take a picture now. Right, here we've got the steps. You probably go down the side there as well. So I'm leaf leaving this little basin area of the hill fort. And then lovely views of Banwell Hill Fort and Breen Down. And in the distance, Crook's Peak. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these steps and go sideways. I don't think this is the worst part. I think there's a worse part to come than this. Um, I'm going to walk sideways as I go down. I can hear people down there as well. I don't think this is the worst part. But it's a good idea to use the steps actually because they're not, it's not slippery today, which is another good reason for um, coming down slowly. I've got to repeat a bit of walk today because I've got to go along the stream, which I don't mind. It'll be very cool and very refreshing. But it's still quite a hike to do to get to Winscombe, so... I can't remember what I said I got now in the hours. I think it might have been... Free, I think I said I had. We should suspect, right? This is going to be the slowest part of the journey doing this. It's downhill to all the way to Winscombe, by the way. There's no hills at all. Some people probably just carry on down that. I expect people's dogs do just run up that. Look, um, I might try, I guess, going down on the grass. I see, because um, it, it jolts your hip going down those steps, but they are the safest alternative. Or you can do what I call is zigzag. Come over to here. I, I still think you'd be better on the steps, Sheila, telling the truth. 
don't think it's working your idea. Look how steep that is. Get back on the steps, go. Stop taking risks. No, it wasn't a good idea. That's quite steep. For a, for a matter of just a few minutes, it's best to take the, take the time with a bit of jolting. I'll just show you my feet gradually. Gently. Try not to trip. I am... I can trip. I like to slip over my own feet sometimes. It's not that easy going up either, actually. If you lose your balance, you've had it. What we do, we'll turn in a minute and go into the wood. Then we just got a style to climb over after a short period on a pathway. It'll be cool. I mean, it's baking at the moment out here. But I do like to video it so that people do know that this place exists. <sighs> Some people like to keep it to themselves, but um, those tribal ancestors are saying, no, she have got every right. All right, turning off for a minute. Leaving the hill fort now, down these lovely little steps. There's an alternative way down through this lovely shaded wood area. I'm going to take my hat off for five minutes as well because although the hat does protect, it also makes you get hot, if you know what I mean. It's um, it's a weird type of protection. We are leaving the basin area and the steps of Dolbury Warren and soon we will come across a See, that looks like a deliberate mark. I've written ceremonies up and up here, actually. Um, sometimes the stones are marked with some white stuff so you glow at night. I wouldn't be surprised if the druids don't come up here. It would make a great procession, wouldn't it? Imagine at night. Yeah, I expect so. And like I said about the hat, yeah. It keeps the big sun off, that's the main thing. Of your neck as well. Yeah, it's a great walk. I've really enjoyed it. I'm so pleased. I mean, unfortunately, I don't know where you would get a proper view. The best view I had of the top of the Barnwell Hill Fort was when I was on the quarry, actually. That was the closest I was going to get to seeing the plain. But you might be able to see it from, say, Cadbury. I don't know. You definitely can't see it very well from um, Wilbury. No, you don't see that very good at all. Like it says, someone's done some aerial shots, which are brilliant. A lot of people don't know about this path, by the way. Not until they hear somebody like me coming along. <sighs> yeah, no, there's a one small incline. When I say there's no hills. There's one small incline I've got to do. And that's... Um, after we leave the stream area and have to go up to join a road, just a little road, not a main one. Um, you know, one of the little B roads, B, B, B. You can hear movement. Could be somebody coming down from the church, you see. Me a while of exploring because I wondered why the style was there, and that's what meant other people to be curious. So, oh, warm pickers. 